8.95 here in the floor exercise. And now Morgan Evans on the vault, 37.05, tied for fifth place, going to her fourth. Looking for a big vault here. Your Tanko one and a half twist, very nice landing. And again, that's that blind landing where you can't see the floor coming up. Very difficult to stick. She does a nice job. Tied for fifth place. She'll have another run at the vault here. And certainly she's got one down that she's got a great score on here, trying to improve, and she'll probably take the first score. And more often than not, it seems like the first vault has been the better of the two so far in the meet. 9.475 for Morgan Evans. That won't hurt her overall. Now Randy Stageberg, who is in fourth place overall, here on the vault. Looking to break into that top three with this vault right here. Yurchenko full twist, a little bouncy on the landing. She's got an extra mat on top, and sometimes that matting can be a little springy when you land if you don't Ooh. if you don't bend your knees. Like and you can see. Yeah, she kind of stiff like the landing, but a nice vault. Now she moved up four places after a strong performance on the floor exercise. Here's her last run of the meet. This to try and get into the medal category. Yurchenko full twist. Oh, a little off to the side, but she actually did a more difficult vault. And a great, great score of 9.575. So Randy Stageberg trying to get up into the top three spots with that. Now Brittany Ramsey trying to hold on to or move up in the standing. She's in third place overall. She begins her last rotation. Gorgeous opening with Ishpashnikova. Big, that's a big release move from low bar to high bar. Here she comes with her second. Kelly Hill, her coach, stepping in. Nice tight form throughout the routine. Setting up for a huge double mm. bike dismount. Solid landing, very nice routine. This is the way you want to finish off a competition. Brittany Ramsey in third place overall. This is her last mark of the day, and it's a good one. 9.45 for Brittany Ramsey. Now to Julie Cotter. She's in second place overall, beginning her last rotation, her last exercise, the floor exercise. Oh, we saw a little bit of her performance come through on balance beam, but she is a very good performer on floor exercise. You can see it in her dance, how she's making eye contact with the crowd. Coming back, Arabian double front. Much like I mentioned on her being very steady and solid in almost all of her movements. Absolutely, and you can see she's thinking about what she's doing, but she's also allowing herself to kind of feel the music in between each of these tough tumbling passes. Right here, two and a half twist, holds onto that landing. And again, she's one of the cleaner athletes. There's not a lot of extra stepping around. She knows exactly where each hand and each foot is supposed to be, and she puts it there. Nice triple turn. Coming up on her last tumbling pass. Nice double pike dismount. Overall, a very nice routine. Everything's clean, the leaps, the jumps. Great job. Looks like a very poised and polished performance for Julie Cotter in her last of the day. Coming up here on her last Sunday pass, nice high double pike. If you're going to get real picky, I suppose you can point her toes, but it was a great routine. Oh, the uh, judges certainly thought so. 9.65 is going to do her well in the overall standing. She went to her last uh, exercise in second place by a couple of tenths. And now Keitra Hunter in third place overall in the 14-year-old category. Trying to move up in the standings on this last event. Of course, she needs to hold on to every tenth that she can, which means no execution deductions. Like that leg split right there at the bottom of her ginger. And that's a pretty common deduction. When you catch the bar, you kind of forget about your feet. And that just comes with experience. Only three tenths of a point separate first and third place here, going to the fourth rotation. Keitra in third with 27.5. Now 
will this uh, do her, Shannon? You know, this was a pretty solid bar routine. She's got some airs in there with uh, certainly her leg splits and knee bends, but it's a pretty solid routine overall. 14-year-old teacher Hunter, the judges say 9.0. Will that hold up? We'll have to see. We move on, though, to Darlene Hill now. Uh, event to finish on when you're in contention, the balance beam? You know, some gymnasts really like to finish because they don't want to think about it till the end, and other gymnasts, myself included, like to start off with it or get it done at the beginning so you didn't have to worry about it anymore. Darlene in first place now in the 15 to 16 year old women's category, and this is her last routine on the balance beam. So far, just a couple balance checks on each skill. Standing punch front, right into a back handspring. And it's these connections that are going to give extra bonus points. Nice switch leap, switch leap. And again, each move, she just is a little unsure of herself on the landings, a little bit nervous. By my calculation, she needs about a 9.5 here on the beam to hold on to her lead. Huge dismount, punch, double front. That and won't she hurt. she sticks <laughs> the landing. Incredible dismount, right there. Well, what did the judges think overall? Great dismount, great finish for Darlene Hill, but 9.2, I'm not sure if that will hold on to first place overall. Shelby Geis now. Shelby also in the hunt in the 14-year-old category. She starts out tied for first place in this, her last performance, and this, too, on the balance beam. Very nice turn. Of course, a, a full turn is required, but she does it a little bit different. Increases the difficulty. Nice layout step out. She needs a 9.0 or better here to take top overall in the 14-year-old category. And so far, she has every opportunity to get that score. She punches front and she touches the beam. Of course, that's going to be a, de a huge deduction. When you actually touch the beam, it's considered a fall. Oh, it's the same as if she'd fallen off all the way? It depends on how the judging goes. You know, she, she barely touched it, mm -hmm. so it might not be considered a grab, which is a full five tenths. She may get away with a three tenth deduction. Her dismount here will be critical in her chances to win the overall. Right here, punch front full off the end of the beam, a little bit low. You can see how far her chest is down on this takeoff. She doesn't get any yeah. height in the air. It's almost like she dove down into it. Right. So this will be interesting to see how they scored it. A lot of difficulty in that routine. Hey, not bad. 9.15, and according to our uh, numbers, that may be good enough, but we're not sure. We'll total them up by the computer and tell you how they finish in both the 14-year-old and 15 to 16-year-old category when we come back from Allentown, Pennsylvania.